All right, guys, let's watch a wood gasifier hopper being built from a compressor tank. This is where you store more wood so you can run your gasifier longer. So I started with an old compressor tank because you can get them for usually for free. And what you see there is a center tube that's going to line up with the reactor. I've cut it open and I'm going to cut a hole in the bottom for this hearth hopper liner. Just marking it with a pen. And then I'm going to cut it out. As you can see, I cut the base off. Now that's what it looks all cleaned up and from the bottom. And I'm going to take the lid off the reactor because we're going to reuse that in a minute. Here's kind of a test fit of what it's going to look like. So once I have it set on, I can start sizing up my um, <clears throat> gasket channels. Here I'm just using some flat bar. I'm going to roll the flat bar up and, and weld it on. If I'm using one inch fiber rope, I might put a three quarter of an inch gap. I took a little slice out of the tank. We're going to weld it back together. But first we want to put some screen inside. <clears throat> so what's going to happen is the, the wood's going to sit on that screen. The, the moisture is going to fall down through the screen and collect. So it's going to dry your wood out. Here's that piece I cut out. I'm going to re-roll it down, <clears throat> get it nice and tight, get it welded up. And this is just to make the top of the hopper look exactly like the top of the um, gasifier so the lid will fit. I cut out the top to get rid of all the plugs and whatnot and now I've welded it back on I'm working on that weld and there's what it looks like. So you got some better feed storage and whatnot. So now I'm gonna work on a flange for the top. Here's a old piece of metal I had from a table. So I just cut that out. A little rough and ugly. This is probably what yours will look like. Then you're just going to sand it off and deburr it. And it's looking a little bit better. And then get it squared up and set it in there. Tack it up really well and, and weld it nice. Now we need some um, mounts for the lid assembly. Here I'm using four inch square tube. I'm just going to cut a section out of it. I've tapped it. And there you go. There's what it looks like. Now my whole lid assembly from the gasifier can transfer directly over. Just get those welded on. And there you go. Looks real nice. Now lifting this thing, you know, if you have a friend, that's great. If you're by yourself, get some of these scissor lifts. You get them at Harbor Freight. And um, I stack two on top of each other. Um, when you're lowering them down, make sure you don't have your fingers anywhere because I did pinch my finger and I thought I was going to die. <laughs> so watch out for that. But I lift it up even and I just slide it over. Here I'm just test fitting. I don't have any gasket in there. I have to put some tabs in and I, what I did is I spaced it up there. Here are those tabs and I've got them welded on. There's another view close up. And we need a drain to drain all that water. So here's a, a drain port. Now I've got it all painted up. I've got it mounted on the lifts. I'm just going to lift it up into place. Put our gasket under and slide it over. It's a little too tall for my, my little garage, so I, I wasn't able to put the lid on. That's it. That's how to build a moderator hopper. If you like this video, go to woodgasfireplans.com where we have all sorts of resources from books and videos, assembly schematics, CAD files, and more.